So you want to get the combat shield gold, but you are having a lot of trouble doing so. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly the best ways to get the combat shield gold, especially on how to take out the Stormbreakers, because as you can see, this ain't doing jack squat. I'm not going to lie, getting this thing gold is a pain in the butt. Obviously, some of them are like, get a ton of kills with the combat shield. Not too hard, but super annoying because of how weak it is. But the hardest ones are killing a Stormkrieger, as well as getting a 20 chain of kills. Because as you can see, this thing does absolutely nothing. But if you use Frost Blast when you're playing and use that when you see a Stormkrieger, it is going to absolutely be the meta for taking out 20 Stormkriegers. Honestly, in my opinion, taking out the Stormkriegers is pretty easy. Anyway, even before the Frost Blast method, you could just deal a lot of damage to them with something like this here shotgun and then just use the last hit by the combat shield to take him out but this method is a heck of a lot easier in my opinion so first and foremost just by using frost blast in and of itself it's going to freeze the storm krieger and if you have it at tier 5 you can actually use the combat shield to take him out with one hit and that's going to help you immensely when taking out all of these storm Kriegers, because you need 20 of them to get this thing gold before you're actually able to finish that challenge and the higher rounds you go especially following some of the high round methods that we've talked about on the channel recently you're going to be getting a ton more storm Kriegers throughout your round which means you're going to get this done in a relatively quick pace now unfortunately you cannot pack a punch the shield so you're going to have to hope that you can get something like bloodlust out of one of your covenants bloodlust in the end isn't even going to help you that much with the storm kriegers or the regular zombies for that matter because of just how freaking slow this thing is but if you are trying to get 20 kills with your shield i would advise that you take out 19 zombies as fast as possible and then use the shield to take out the 20th that still for some reason counts as getting 20 kills without taking a hit with the shield and it's also hard because even with the shield if a zombie hits you with it in front of you you still take damage and that still counts as a hit so having to get up close and personal with the zombies with how slow this thing is it just is really really hard to do so i would recommend taking out 19 zombies first and then taking out the last one with your combat shield another thing you need to do is just take damage with the combat shield it needs to protect you from hits so for example i'm getting shot by the storm krieger if i put it on my back i already got this challenge done but basically you need to take an x amount of hits from behind or in front of you just basically the shield needs to block x amount of hits that one's super simple you're probably going to get it by just running around with it on your back and definitely the hardest one in my opinion is getting the 10 rapid kills because if you watch how slow this thing is even if these guys were all weak like let's go ahead and use this really quick so we could take out this here storm krieger but even if all these zombies were weak i mean honestly this thing's so slow you really cannot take them out quickly so again your best bet is to basically kill nine zombies and then take out one with the combat shield at the end and that will still count towards getting your combat shield gold now thankfully with the combat shield they actually changed it from 10 rapid kills down to five just for how slow this thing is but honestly even that is kind of very unlikely as you can see how absolutely slow this thing is it's just not worth it honestly we can get it done but for how long this thing takes and how not safe you are with it i feel like they'll probably make a change to it in the coming weeks especially with season two coming out maybe they'll make it so it's a little bit faster and also sometimes when you use it you just like can't move for an extended period of time at least on controller i don't know if that's the case for everyone but at least for controller players like myself it does get kind of difficult but what you could do is you could just spawn into the game take out this little horde of zombies here as fast as you can get those five kills and then simply leave the game go make sure that you got that done as you can see i now have four of the 50 times that you have to do this which is an absolute pain in the butt but it can be done and eventually you will get gold on this now to get diamond on your combat shield you're going to need to unlock golden viper for both the combat shield as well as the combat knife or the katana or the sawtooth as long as you get it for one of these other items in the game then you can get gold and then diamond and then of course dark ether for all these melee weapons in the game but i would 100 recommend using something 
like the Frost Blast upgrade to basically kill the Storm Creatures as fast as you can and give yourself the best chance at taking out as many zombies as possible. The combat shield is kind of a pain in the butt, but it looks pretty cool when it has camos on it. If you're trying to figure out how the heck to get to higher rounds in Call of Duty Vanguard zombies right now, go ahead and click on this video right here. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. A big shout out to all the channel members over on the channel, and an extra special shout out to all of the zombie Richtoff members, starting off with the M60 wielding maniac, Deathwish, my guy, Ben the Bulldozer, and the man, the myth, the legend, Tiz Brandon, ZR.